What is up everyone? Happy Monday. It's Monday for us. Happy so Monday. Let's get our energy going. <laughs> In the last video you guys saw, we took Brian's car to the track, we tested it out. It was an amazing day. Brian drove amazing, the car did amazing, and it was just a wholesome good day that I think we all needed. We all deserved it. Maybe I didn't deserve my overheating issues, but <laughs> if you guys remember in the video, I was fighting over heating issues the entire video. I was kind of losing my mind. And just like I think any other car guy, I knew I wouldn't be able to sleep until I figured it out. So I spent my entire weekend here trying to figure it out. And well, this is how I ended my weekend. Right here. Wah, wah, wah. SR good, huh? A SR still good. SR still the best. Jay Z's pretty good. Too. I've never seen you do a head gasket in the winter, yeah, I'm just saying. I'm trying to think of a metaphor right now, <laughs> but it's one day my brain's dead. So f you, Spoon. But <laughs> <laughs> I did everything I could to try and find any issue without pulling the head, right? We always want to assume that it's something small. You don't want to pull your whole engine apart just to find something, you know, that your fans weren't working. But I. Did my due diligence, I spent a lot of time, and it ended up with me pulling my head on Saturday and finding out that I actually had a damaged head gasket on cylinder two. You see that little break right there? That was enough to have the overheating issues that I had. Cylinder pressure was of course leaking into the cooling system, raising my coolant pressure, then blowing the coolant into my overflow, and then creating an air pocket. Makes sense, right? I had this thing, dude, I was on the dyno with this thing, beating the crap out of it, and I ended up just hooking up a coolant pressure gauge to my inner, to my radiator, which is really nice. With my Phoenix radiator, they actually had an NPT blung on it, which is really nice, so I just put the gauge on it, and I was just doing pulls, and well, I mean, look at my coolant pressure right here. As you can tell, that's a high number. Coolant pressure, we're not really supposed to see really go over 16 in this situation, as you guys might have seen in the video. We were touching 30. Ooh. So it was like one of those issues where it was just on the cuffs of being bad. So, engines apart, gotta wait for a new head gas to come in, we'll slap it all together, and then guess what? SR will work, and the SR is best. I was thinking about it this weekend, I was like, you know, if a head gasket is gonna ruin your season, you shouldn't be drifting. It's a small issue. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's not that ex it's not a, a super expensive fix, because I have to buy, um, you know, $150, you know, it's 150 to $300 for an aftermarket head gasket. Maybe I might, Pay to plane the head and the I, rest is just I, labor. I always recommend planing the head. It's insurance. It's insurance. Well, I'm really happy because if you guys might have noticed, I overheated the engine really, really bad a few times. So I was worried that my head was going to be warped. But a really good test on that, obviously, is to put a straight edge on it and you'll be able to see it. Doesn't really show any signs of that. And on top of that, what you could do is remove your rocker assembly, put your cams in, and try to spin them freely, right? If there's no a rocker assembly on them, if they can spin freely within the can caps, then you did pretty good. That's good news. They spin freely, so SR didn't work because SR is great. SR good. That was, <laughs> 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 hey, that was, that, that was a step in the right direction. <laughs> but we'll wait for the gas to come in, I'll get it back together, and you guys will never know. The head gasket issue. But this week is a busy one for us because we have a lot of stuff coming up, right? LZ World Tour in Ireland is next week, which is probably our favorite event of the year. So if you guys are in Europe or want to take a quick flight to Ireland, grab your tickets now. We'll put the link in the description. If you want a copy of the RP ticket to come uh, guarantee a spot to hang out with the gang and get some cool other benefits with seating. Um, they give you a little VIP only like merch pack and stuff. Um, we'll put the tickets below there. That's what helps us get to these events. They are very limited. Well, hop below. Click the link and grab yourself some tickets for probably the coolest event of the year. On top of that, we're doing a big RX-7 week this week, right? Because if you guys remember, well, the engines hurt, right? I made too much power for what it was. We cracked the rear housing and we can't drive it, which is a big letdown because this is one of the coolest cars I own. Sounds the best. Sounds the best. And so we're going to be pulling the engine on this this week. And guess what? We're going to be bringing it, bringing it down to Virginia and we're going to be fixing the engine with Vargas so we can get this thing back together. The worst is when everything's all perfect, you gotta take it all back apart. You know, you don't wanna scratch anything, you gotta undo all your fancy management, whatever. I think it's another situation where it's like, if you own a built rotary, you gotta be ready for this. The trick is taking it apart and putting it back together in a timely manner. Cause when things sit around for a long time, that's when things get. Things get lost, things get scratched, things get. Things get stolen. That's true. Like the hose, you'll take the hose clamps off of this build for this build and all of a sudden, yeah. We'll make quick work of it, but on top of that, I want to drive my E36 soon because we've only tested it at Lime Rock. 
Uh, we had the issues with the valve covers where they're broken and it was pushing a lot of um, oil everywhere. So I haven't got the driven our fresh build. And on top of that, I haven't done like any right hand drive drifting this year. Last year I did a bunch of right hand drive drifting. Like I felt super normal in it. Of course my car in Ireland is gonna be right hand drive. So I need a little bit of practice. So I think this weekend we're gonna take this car out finally. That being said, we got some things to do to it. So as you guys know, the E36, we quickly swapped the Jay-Z in this thing a few weeks ago, right before Grid Life Lime Rock. And uh, well, we tested the car out and we found just a couple small issues. The front tires were dead and the car was very hard to steer even without grip in it. Easy issue, new front tires, we got those. We also needed the catch cam pretty bad, which we knew we just ran out of time on that one. So of course our blow by was a little excessive out into the car. And the big major issue with it was my valve cover cracked, which caused oil to get everywhere, which took me a really long time to clean. So valve cover cracked, that sounds kind of crazy, but it's a super common Jay-Z issues. Anyone with a Jay-Z kind of knows, and they've probably cracked a cover before. They're super thin on the ears on these covers and they break very, very easily. Even with these where I use the OEM torque and sequence and everything is still cracked. So if you're gonna install your valve, valve covers, just put them hand snug. They break very easily. Luckily, we have a very easy solution for this. One, 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 one. Here's the broken one. Look at it. I'm right here. Broke right on that ear. Very kind. It didn't even fully break. You see how it just broke halfway through? Yeah, just a barely, barely a Dude, crack. This flooded my engine bay with oil. It was probably a quart of oil in my engine bay. So if you want to waste your entire weekend cleaning oil out of your car, at least we know this thing will never rust this oil all on the bottom of the car. <laughs> probably sitting there like, Jimmy, it's such a common solution. Like, what do you do about it? You could have spoon just weld it up. Yeah, it'll probably break again, which would suck. Simple solution, go to drifthq.com and get yourself some billet, Ichiban, Jay-Z valve covers. Boom, 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 cut the B-roll. <laughs> Ichiban billet Jay Z valve covers. Now, what's cool is they make a billet version for like every Jay Z, right? 2J, 1J, VTI, not VTI, GE, GTE. They got it all. And there's two different versions. There's OEM styling like this, which is cool because it still fits the OEM cover, which is sick because the OEM color cover beautiful, pretty. Or they sell, I'll, I'll consider it more motorsports look where they're more boxy, doesn't use a cover, and it looks pretty freaking cool. I was tempted, but come on, Toyota killed this. You can get them anodized in like any color, but I kind of like the raw, so you can see that. I got fancy. The raw billet's so good. Dude, it's just like, yo. I think car guys, just we just love billet. It's just like a dude thing. Billet everything. It's like digging holes. We all love digging holes. For example, you go to the beach, what do you do? Dig a hole. You dig a hole. <laughs> so when you buy car parts, it's like digging a hole. <laughs> buy <billet. laughs> So it's nice, obviously, uh, they're billet, so they're not gonna break on us, which is really cool. They come threaded also with an AN bung, which is really convenient because having to weld AN bugs to your JC covers looks a little weird because you have to put them in weird locations. Yeah. And on top of that, they have extra baffling inside of them. So there's quite a bit more baffling than OEM. And I mean, that's all you could really ask for. So I got a set for the 1J, and I got a set for the 2J for the pro car that's been sitting in the back for a while. So we've needed covers, and of course that engine had to get some bling also. Now the only thing I do recommend for yourself, uh, just as a piece of insurance, is the little screws for the baffling, which is nice that it's threaded so you can remove the baffling without the drill rivets. We're gonna lock tighten, right? Because God forbid any of those fell out and then open your valve train, <laughs> it's an expensive mess up, so. <laughs> just to show off the 2J one, I thought it'd be pretty cool to have matching covers on the car, so these are the same style where they do house an OEM cover and they're billet clear. Isn't it crazy how much beefier the 2J ones look versus the 1J? Mm -hmm. That's pretty. <laughs> While we're here, uh, I want to throw some type of mesh or something inside the valve covers to help with the baffling, because as of right now, it's just kind of open baffling, which is probably fine, but it wouldn't hurt to do a little bit more. Usually they, they sell baffling foam, and I thought I had some. I don't. So, so I had a good idea of using a like uh, steel wool. But you gotta be careful with the steel wool because it's too dense, right? You don't wanna you don't wanna hinder your airflow. 
And so I found this stuff, which is not wound so tight and you can kind of like feel the resistance versus the steel wool, too much resistance. You still want air moving through it. So we're gonna put this kind of as like a, a last resort of trying to uh, keep some of the, the oil out of it, right? That'll give some surface tension to catch the oil and let it kind of fall back out, so. But it's security. It's security. because I was going for that whole purple red link thing but those look cool in there the motorsport I could say they're motorsport ones which are just kind of square what kind of ganks here because it just looks like a race engine OEM cover ones you can never miss with that since these are billet I'm gonna grab the impact and just feel good to get them like seven times in the place Austin's face no. <laughs> no so these use a really thick gasket right so you're not supposed to bottom out these bolts. And so we still gotta be very mindful or else we're gonna compromise the gasket, so. Snug, snug is all you need. It's your, you know, internal torque wrench. Obviously the coil pack still need to go in, but for the sake of science, that looks so cool. That's clean. You would never know. Unless you look for it. Like, damn, how'd you make your OE covers look that good? Oh, Billy. That's sick. This car is kind of freaking sick. Like, I was looking at it the other day. I'm just like, man, this thing is it's it's, cool. It's car. so sick. And the yeah. Jay Z in here, look how good that looks. Beyond it just hitting, like, that looks so sick. So, uh, obviously, we've got to connect our valve covers to our catch can so we can let this thing breathe. Um, Order the fittings today since we now know what we need and I will get that done tomorrow. Put some front tires on and we're ready for the weekend. I'm so excited to drive this thing, especially with some good front tires on this, we could really put it down. But but for now, we gotta get ready for the week. So we are going to now finally be dropping the R34 off to my buddy Seamus at Taylor Chassis Solutions uh, so we can have him go through it and uh, just give him a seal, of, give us his seal of approval, which we talked about in a previous video since, well, we are potentially letting this go, potentially. I gotta be careful with what I say, because everyone holds me against it, <laughs> potentially. And plus, like, I love an excuse to see Seamus, so let's hit the road. It's such a sick car. I know everyone's yelling at me for, like, not driving it more. I promise we'll do a driving thing when it gets back. Now the weather's nice. It's been the shittiest, hottest summer of my life. I've been trying to think about it. My biggest like standoff on this car has been my inherent extreme distrust for RBs and the fact that I have a very built, miss, very mystery. Very expensive. Very expensive. Very, very expensive. Very mystery engine. That's been holding me back. So I'm going to have Seamus go through this and do his course. He's done more RBs than anyone I know. And um, he gives me the thumbs up. I'm happy. I'll put some trust in it. We'll have some fun with it and we'll go from there. Taylor Chassis Solutions. Cupcake. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's, it's, it's very, pretty. Very yeah. Uh, are we bringing it downstairs? We're gonna just it up here. Let's just bring it downstairs, right. and then we can go through it and tell yeah. me, you know, what you want me to look at. Cool. We'll guide me through, and then we'll take it apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not 
best part about this is we get a free car spot on the shop for a couple of weeks. <laughs> I mean, we do have an empty trailer. Anything we want to bring back? <laughs> Sheamus. <laughs> for it right here? For what? On type R? I'll for the take Type that. R? I'll take that all day. I'll do that trade. Type R for this? Yeah. That's a cool car. Yeah, that is a cool car. <laughs> Look at this. I want to see this thing. RB31. Hell yeah. Straight from the islands of Australia. I like the big boars. No, actually, I have no idea where this bottom end came from, but somewhere down, you know, southern hemisphere. Mm. RB26 head, I'm pretty sure it's a 32 head. It's just a simple piston rod, top end package, stock okay. intake. G3770, it's small, but it hits really nice. It's really good. Simple. It's not a Link 2. My favorite. <laughs> Hell yeah. He's already talking about how good he fits in the car. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Jimmy offered to trade me for the Type R, so yeah, I'm really yeah, considering like... it. What do you think of the car, it. though? What do you think of the car? I think it's good. Um, I like how you got rid of the red uh, Nopi Nationals interior trim, that's good. There really wasn't much of an option. Um, not leave that red. Man, this car is so clean, dude. It's not bad. It's like, bad. it's so clean. It's such a shame that all the cars of this era have that strut tower issue. Otherwise, like, it's a super clean car. It's got a good paint job on it. And now, with, I mean, you guys went through the bay, you, I mean, it's, dude, it's good. But I'd seriously consider for the Type R, dude. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right here. Pop a squad in this thing, dude. Yeah, I know. You got tall boy friendly. Those bolsters grab you. I don't know, dude. I don't really fit in this <laughs> come on, car. Come on, this is come crazy. On. Come on. Nah, there's no way I don't fit in Put here. Put the seat to a good position. I'm taller than he is, by the oh, way. It's hot. Let me get this going. Taller, stronger. <laughs> More handsome. <laughs> See, it does, doesn't even run. Doesn't even run. Sounds like it had low compression. <laughs> Come on. More work. Look at that. Damn. Cold starts a little rough. Yeah, stock ECU, you know. Yeah, good old B series. Nice and smooth. Maybe I'll case swap it. No, oh, God. <laughs> absolutely not. You gotta piss off That's, every oh Honda car. <laughs> These are like the fastest, slowest car, right? Like they're Dude, the fastest. It's car. not slow. Like, it's not. I mean, it's not a lot of power. <laughs> it's not a lot of power, but it weighs 2,300 pounds. This is Real, faster than the Steve. Realistically, Steve, yeah. people don't understand how fast these are. <laughs> <I was like, laughs> yo, yo, so it's a dual cam, dude. It's absolutely untouched stock. This car's only got like. 40,000 kilometers on it. How many quarter panels does it have? It's got two, <laughs> one per side. <laughs> right at home. Yeah, dude, just gonna say that. I wish, yeah, I, I wish I fit in these seats like you fit in this seat. You don't fit in this Let me borrow this thing for a couple weeks. I don't wanna convince the trade here. Like... Yeah, let's see. Um, if you did 450 grand cash on top. <laughs> We've shown this car on the channel a few times, but the original Pace Car Supra, that's kind of nuts that's here. But, and guess what? There's two of them. Yeah, it looks like my, you know, looks like my FRS. Same, same. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's the same metaphor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. cool. The 34 looks sick in here, though. Come on, look at oh, that. Yeah. Look at the aura. You know what it is? We always say it too. My cars look so much cooler out of my shop. Yeah. Because like we get so jaded because there's like a, actually a lot of cool shit in my shop, and you get so accustomed to it. But as soon right. as you like put it somewhere else, you're like, yeah. like if I walked in and I saw that someone else owned it, I'd be like, oh my god, this thing's so cool. It's so nice and so clean. But like when you when I own it, I'm like, it's not that cool. You park it out of your shop around like a bunch of garbage. It no. looks <laughs> there's so much. There's so many hitters in here. I mean, let's talk about this thing right here. This is a car you probably don't see very often. Seamus, nerd on about it, because I'm going to mess it all up. As far as I know, this is uh, the original Spoon display car for Spoon USA, which was Go Tuning Unlimited. They built this car. It was like a display showpiece deal. It's got the full Spoon catalog. Full Spoon in the front seat, It's got seat the Spoon too. in the front seat. It's got the Spoon, everything. So uh, the only thing that they didn't do is they didn't put a Spoon crate engine in it when they originally outfitted it as yeah. a display car back in the day. It has a spoon engine now. The full spoon spoon. I know it's got spoon, it. spoon hoses. It's got every single spoon thing. Like you, in order to get this, and if you know, you know. In order to get that, you got to have all that. So they don't hand these things out to <laughs> I'm not everybody. We're talking about this. We're talking about these. <laughs> wiper blades. Look at the wiper, wiper blades. Wiper blades are spoon. Knock these out. Yeah. Can you? Spoon? You're the cool guy with the spoon <laughs> wiper blades. Yeah. That's crazy. that's how you really get the plaque. Shame it. Perfect in this one too. I know you do. You, you 
got the right butt for all these GDM seats, dude. <laughs> I do have that a that nice butt. butt. I do have a nice butt. I'm already expecting the text messages later. Do you fucking? Idiot? I'm kidding. That's good. You're gonna be nice to me. You're gonna be yeah. so nice to me. Yeah. Hello. So nice. To I me. will. <laughs> so we've talked about it before. Uh, I'm leaving this here because you run a beautiful shop, very high quality. I think very highly of you. Don't let that go to your f***ing head, all right? I think very highly of you. I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> You've done more successful RBs than anyone I've ever seen, all right? So, I just want you to go through this and give me the, go give me the thumbs up that this is a car that you would feel comfortable giving to one of your customers. And with that, I feel good about it, and then I could consider possibly selling it. I think it's super big of you to do that. There's a lot of people who would just be like, giveaway time, and they wouldn't do that ever. So, yeah. yeah. We'll go through it, and you know, dude, I bust your ass every single I, I, day. I mean, <laughs> you know, I post a video, I'm doing something in my video, I'm like, God, she was gonna call me doing this right now. I'm like, damn it. Anyway. It's true. So I'll throw it, and, um, you know, just put the, put the cherry on top and give it the seal of approval. This dude's got like six arc sevens in here right now. I think, do you think it's time to finally unstock my yellow car? Oh yeah. The I mean, we've been talking about it for sick. some time. We've mm. got a kit for that. I know, it's, sir. It's, it's so good. You've got See, the I kit. don't want to touch his yellow car, but I trust you. I've seen the cars. Appreciate that. Well, no, you you found out a really good recipe of getting the most out of the car without sacrificing anything, and that's really rare. All the heat management and stuff, like, Oh, twist my arm, Seamus. It's, it's pretty pretty. V-mount AC, single. Finally get you on a Borg after all these years, dude. Hot below, shop <laughs> <laughs> Say that again? If you get us to 50,000 subs, I'll do it for free. What are you at now? 5,000 subs. <laughs> dude, and that's light work, guys. Go over to Taylor Chassis Solutions on YouTube. Follow the channel. If get I'm serious, you guys don't if I get anything. to 50k subs, I'll build the yellow car for free. That's kind of crazy. That's a that's a big ask for them. It so. is a big ask. It's a big I mean, ask. if you Let's if you like it. nerdy, technical stuff, go to his channel. I'm boring as hell, but <laughs> if 50k of you guys just doodly do, just hop over and follow, anything. then we'll get it done. I'll put the kit on it. Take a nap. Man of my word. <laughs>